For those of you that may have just tuned in, welcome. This is Northern Fights, the top 16 for Mortal Kombat XO, where these guys are playing for a ton of cash prize money, as well as a guaranteed spot to EVO 2017 for first place. I think uh, the, the prize for EVO is really important because um, the fact that at EVO, obviously, when it comes to Netherrealm, it's in Justice Pro Series. When it comes to Street Fighter, it's Capcom Pro Tour. EVO will by far dish out the most points in those series. It's a deal breaker for both Absolutely. of them. Absolutely, for sure. And you know, if, if, if you're a player, obviously you know, the Street Fighter guy is going to be, and I assume a lot of these MK guys are going to be playing Injustice as well. You want to be able to get that guaranteed spot there, because if you place well at this tournament, you do so well for just the overall championship finals later this year. But I think it's also a matter of um, if you're able to defeat some of this competition, you know, if you're able to take out some of this competition, you have what it takes. We're going into our next match, which is Newbie versus Sounds Like Pause. Two players that I think, admittedly, um, we haven't heard a huge amount about, but they're in this top 16. So, you know, they're here for a reason. We're ready to watch them play. Oh, absolutely. I mean, let's not forget, this is, th these are Canada guys really trying to defend their turf against Dragon being the American invader, I suppose, right now. But again, you know, they're playing for so much money in that trip to EVO. None of these guys are going to want to walk away without that after working so hard to get here being the finals. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's also a matter of um, staying composed. We mentioned this earlier, but some of these players aren't going to be as used to being in this environment, right? Where there's a stage, there's a live crowd, you know, the gameplay is louder than you've ever heard it, but it's coming out of these cinema speakers. You know, it's an unbelievable experience, but definitely one that not a lot of these guys will be used to. Well, I guess we have to see if they can get used to it quickly, though. Let's not forget, you know, this is winner's bracket action, but two out of three, their time for adapting is... Going to be limited. You know, they're gonna it's have, quite small. They're going to have to be ready to, uh, well, prepare for it as quickly as they can. But I feel like uh, currently, I, I really feel like two out of three um, isn't so bad for the current version of the game. You know, because it's not as 50-50 heavy as the game was back. You know, back in the day, um, and the the need to outplay someone is easier post patch because armor isn't as prominent. Some of the mix ups aren't as prominent. It's very neutral heavy now. But as you can say that though, sounds like pause. Looks like he's been bringing the drunken master Bo Raicho, the very least Bo Raicho, which again, you know, is a character that if he gets you cornered, if he can get you in that situation and he's got bar to work with, you can't wake up attack, he's oh. got restands, he's got guaranteed 50-50s. This was the matchup we, we almost saw beforehand. That's why, there's a Takeda as well. So we'll be interested to see how this matchup goes. Looks like we are almost ready. And here we go, looks like the players are ready to go. But I think this time, Lasher versus Bo Raicho, a matchup you definitely don't see very often. No, indeed, but I mean, Lasher's normals having so much range. I can imagine that being quite difficult for Baraito to deal with. But uh, let's wait and see if that actually works out that way. The first bar does go to Newbie. That's going to be really helpful for him. But Lasher has got... Lasher has mix-ups as well. Bear in mind, you can go for the low scoop. All the natural overheads in those strings can be, in some cases, a complete true 50-50. But with sounds like pause going in for Bo Raicho. He only needs to touch you once, and he can mix for the rest of the round. Wow, full optimal combo as well. 35% for a bar and corner pressure. It's going really well for Newbie so far. Oh, nice. Tries to catch the confirm, but sounds like pause misses the last hit, unfortunately, and going to get tripped up by the low again. lash. A very, very convincing round. However, as we mentioned, all Drunken Master has to do is touch you one time. So if he manages to get that hit, we might see something really special. And there we go. We see that ground pound putting into good use right now. So if he wants to start throwing these kunai daggers, we can see that ground pound do a good job of sort of shutting that down, or at the very least trading damage. But on the flip side of that, I think Takeda, he has so much range in the kunais and his normals. He's not really going to get harassed by something like a ground pound. But again, that down forward one, the low range comboing into the, uh, the flurry. Wow, an important element in this matchup, and that was a quick game one. But it's just as fast as you can mention it, though. That's it. If you catch that max range, jump in, and Lasha gets those long limbs, you know, those long whips in the air, that crouching normal does combo into a full you know, extender. So you do get massive range. If you're ready to confirm, you are going to do tons of damage off of range that may that might just not be ready for. So far, it kind of just looks like, um, sounds like Pause has had a bit of a hard time advancing, but it's kind of the matchup we expected, right? Lasha has the limbs, he has the range to establish, but here we go, tagged by the low. That's going to be mixed up. So now here we go. What's the setup? Okay, get some drink now for the first time. He has a little bit of it. There we go. There's the low launch. Oh, unfortunately, a bit of an execution error. It doesn't actually get the fart. It goes into the down back two instead. That does happen when you do it a bit too quickly. And there's a little bit of life deficit, but that's going to do things to even out. Nice. There we go. Monkey there's flips. the monkey flips. Oh, good block on the overhead. Go, tries to punish, but isn't quite in time. There we go. Wake up monkey flips again. He has to be really careful now, though. He can't get tagged once more because he has no bar. Ooh. Oh, that's a good jumper. Oh, a little bit too late. 
Nubi can still totally make a comeback on this. All he has to do is get one mix up and it could be game over. Oh! And he crossed up. Doesn't quite connect. Block on the low and the monkey flips will catch him. Jumping out and sounds like Pause takes his first round. It looks like Varaitra really seems to struggle to stop him from jumping out those ranges. Oh! He lands on the fart though. That's going to do things for a full stun. That was an expensive fart to jump into. Absolutely. There you go. Again, harassing with the ground pounds. But the meter burn comes through. Fart clone. But at this point, there's no reason for Nubi to go in and try and get that damage Ooh. out. But just for that, sounds like Pause with ground pounds adding up so much damage so quickly. However, Nubi is answering back. And there we go. He's now got the screen to work with. And again, uh -oh. no, the back 2 1 going straight into it. That's going to be monkey flip into knockdown. But a break at the very end. I'm not sure I agree with that. Well, I mean, this, this, this zoning with the daggers is putting in a lot of work right now. But sounds like Pause, he's trying to go for the ground pound, isn't able to get them out in time. Uh oh, can't even drink as well. Nubi playing this neutral really well. Uh oh, that break. He's confident he can take the round, but jumps straight into it, and it's match point for Nubi. Both players with a brave break. Nubi with the break to zone, and Pause trying to land that final hit. It looks like Lasher really does a good job of just stopping you from doing anything on the ground in the neutral with the daggers, and he can't stop you from jumping around. Nubi just playing this matchup so well. Yeah, it looks very difficult for Pause to actually really sort of get within his effective range. Lasher really keeping him at arm's reach. Now, if he can keep this life lead, you know, sort of slowly but surely oh. adding up with his ground pounds, he might be able to make something work. Spencer's only bar on the monkey flips, gets a little bit of damage. There's good blocking. Oh, jumps clean Wow, over. he threaded the needle with that one. Normally, you get tagged by that. Oh, with Punish uses the ground pound, I like it, and goes straight into the crop duster. Knocked down again. Newbie with the bar. He has two bars of meter. Has to be very careful, can kill with that bar. Now, this, this is good for sounds like pause, though. If he can just, at this point, when he's got this much health, he can go for that trade. Uh oh, but that would be a full combo. No, he doesn't. Spends yeah, he just gets knocked down. Monkey flips to get out of danger. And the ground pound! Whiff punishes that back 2 1. And it's going to be one game each. Really smart adjustment from uh, Pause as well, though, because realizing that Newbie really wants to play that long range game and knowing when he can go in for those ground pounds is putting in so much work. Oh, but that mix up of overhead or low scoop, ever so prominent, unfortunately, Pause has seen it every time. There we go, repositioned. That's going to be a guaranteed drink if he wants to, but no, opts to go for the Oki instead. Gonna go for the wake up jump, so he kept himself a little bit safer. Let's be a full confirm. Yes, he spends the bar. That okay, might that's might be the round. That's gonna Ouch. Kill. That does so much damage when you get it early on. But again, it's match point for Newbie. But unfortunately for Pause, not a lot of meter. But it is amazing just how much this matchup changes when Newbie has the life lead. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. connect. Oh no, misses it! And that was his only bar too. That's gonna be a full combo for free. And Pause doesn't have armor to wake up with now. Oh, oh no! no. Maybe tried to wake up, jump, but Newbie's gonna catch it with a perfectly timed meaty. Oh no, doesn't quite get the cross up. Major whiff right there. I get another full combo. This might actually be game over. Does so much damage, and I think that's gonna be it. Oh, oh not quite. quite enough magic pixel, but there we go. That meaty timing from Newbie. Even if Pause did a wake up attack, he would have taken the damage anyway. Perfect play from Newbie, and he advances through the winner's bracket. That was a very simple thing right there, and it came down to um, spacing. It was just Lasher commanded more range than Drunken Master. Drunken Master has a lot of mix-ups uh, in the corner and mid-screen, but unfortunately, we just didn't really get to see, um, sounds like pause, get that going, right? You know, where you land a hit, you go in for the restand, and then you pop a drink, and the drink gives you access to some new moves. We saw that used one time, and the one time we saw it, it worked out, because we saw the drink get popped into a restand, went into the uh, the sort of meditation stance, into the low launcher, which newbie got tagged by, and that sequence won the round. Unfortunately, that was the only time we had the chance to see it, because Pause wasn't able to land a hit. Indeed, but we are well underway in this first round matches, but for now, we are going to go to a very quick break. Please don't go anywhere, because Northern Fight Mortal Kombat will continue after this.